Alright, uh, made some modifications to my table. As you can see right now, I'm using a one horsepower Craftsman Palm router. Made a new motor mount for it, uh, using the machine and some uh, finishing touches on my table saw. Uh, when I had the uh, other spindle mounted, I had some clearance issues on the z-axis because it was a taller spindle so I had to grind my uh, z-axis plate up top but that's not an issue anymore I also made a uh, adapter for my Dremel tool for using tiny bits uh, just if I have to do some fine work I have it ready anyway uh, Let's see some rapids. Um, getting over 330 inch rapids with Mach 3. Zero everything here. Look at the Mach 3 screen. Well, it's a blended speed of over 400 returning, but uh, about 336 on each axis. I kept the Z at about 120 on the rapids because when I go to jog the Z I keep crashing my Z axis into the table or into the Z plate on my carriage so anyway also let's look up top I ended up reconfiguring my uh, pulley system here in my x-axis. Uh, I did some fine-tuning with the bearing blocks, getting the screws to run a little more true. It's pretty important to have these bearings aligned as any tiny misalignment in the bearings will cause your screws to whip. And if you want to achieve uh, higher speeds, especially with uh, these homemade bearings, you got to get everything pretty straight. Now, what I did here, I actually switched with an idler when I took the big idler because the bearing went on it. And I put another idler in. I put it on the right side instead of the left side, like in the plans, because I have a long belt. And I also added a, another bearing here between the two belts one it keeps the belts from uh, slapping against each other and meshing into each other that was causing me some problems early on when I was testing my machine and also it keeps the belt from vibrating which I think uh, the belt was vibrating earlier and I'd have problems with the motor stalling on me and I thought it was the bearings and I adjust the bearings and make them light but then uh, I get sloppy cuts, so just uh, by power of reason deduction, I uh, figured out that it's probably the belts vibrating that cause the motor to stall. Um, seems to be working well as I have up the rapids on the machine. Again. The motors sound nice and smooth. You don't hear any banging or anything. Everything sounds pretty cool. <laughs> 